Hi, welcome to our Homestead series. We hope this will be of enjoyment and informative. We don't know everything, we don't do everything perfect, but what we do know works for us. In these economic times, people have been talking about a back to the land movement or getting back to a more simple way of life. The transformation from the comforts of city dwelling and our modern way can be a little different going back to the homestead. I won't say complicated, but there are some things that people things some people should know. So I hope you enjoy this series. Thank you for watching. Okay, so today we're going to be um, canning peas. Fresh peas from our garden, by the way. My wife and my daughter got those. And uh, we're going to uh, show you how we use the pressure canner. Okay. Okay. I'm canning these in pint jars. Fill up your jars with your peas. You want to leave about an inch of room at the top. It's called an inch of headspace. So that would be good right about there. Okay. And then you just keep doing that. And when you're done, you'll add. If you like, you can add half a teaspoon of salt to each jar. It helps to keep the flavor and the color after the canning process, but it is optional. You can can without salt. Now, what you now I'm going to add the salt. Half a teaspoon for a pint and one teaspoon for a quart size jar. That these are pints? These are pints, yes, so I'm using half a teaspoon. And then I'm going to cover it up with hot water. Excuse me, <coughs> okay. And how full does the water go? About the same as the peas, you want to leave an inch of headroom. Okay. okay, this little red gizmo thing you have there, is where do you get that? Like, is that special for this or what? This is a canning funnel, yes. Yeah, so you okay. can um, buy them separately. Uh, most home hardwares, like or any hardware store, will have them. Okay. And you can also buy them in a canning kit. And they're roughly $10. They'll have a canning funnel, a jar lifter, and um, one of the little magnetic wands for getting the lids out of the hot water. Okay. You wipe the rims off. Okay. Because you want a clean surface for your jars to seal on. Okay. Not quite such a big deal when you're doing something just filled with water, but if you were doing jam or peaches, anything sticky and sugary, you definitely want to make sure that's off. Okay. Now these lids, have you boiled these? I didn't boil them. They used to recommend that you boil the lids, but the problem was people would overboil them, and this is like a sticky gum. It's a sealant. Okay. And if they're overboiled, it won't seal. So a few years ago, they decided um, to recommend that you just soak them in hot water. Okay. And that way, usually, you don't have a sealing problem. Is that why you're using the magnet? Because the water's hot? Yeah. Keeps you from burning your hands. Okay. And then you take your, your jar ring, and you put these on, just finger tight. Okay. And now you're just going to put them over into the canner. This is my smaller canner. Uh, it holds about six pint jars. And I love it because I have a larger one that holds about 20. But this uses less water and less power to heat up. So for running smaller batches, it's pretty convenient. What brand is it? This one is a... Um, Presto. My other one's a Miro. They're both equally good. So anyway, the water in there, I've got about two inches of water in the bottom. Okay. And I've brought it, it's warm. I didn't want it boiling because the jars aren't, it uh, doesn't have boiling water in it. It's just warm the jars. Okay. Uh, the temperature difference, I didn't want them to crack. Okay. Now I'm going to put the lid on. 
There we go. You have okay. to line up just right or they don't fit. It's part of their safety. Okay. And then slide it to lock it. You'll hear with this one you hear a little click in here. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the temperature up high. Like the full blast? To, yeah, to the maximum and bring it to a boil. Um, when it starts to get hot, there's a can you show over yep. here? Um, there's a little button in there that will come up level with the surface up here. Oh, okay. And that shows that it's it's locked in. Okay. Just showing you in there. Okay. Over here, th when this is the, the vent, when mm -hmm. you see the steam coming out steadily for 10 minutes, um, at that point you can cover, you can put your weight on. Okay. This over here is an overpressure valve. What this does is if for some reason you're not paying attention to your canner mm -hmm. and the pressure gets too uh, too built up, that little seal will pop out and allow the pressure to come out. Uh, along When they first started making these back in my grandma's day, yeah. uh, they didn't have a safety feature like that. So if you didn't watch them, this is how the scary stories of pressure canner lids getting stuck in your ceiling got started. <laughs> and really that's only because people don't watch them. They yeah. are perfectly safe to use as long as it's in good working order right. and you pay attention. They're, right. they're not dangerous at all. Right. Um, you're dealing with um, high temperatures and steam, but I've never had trouble with them because, you know, you just don't put it on and leave the house.